right guys welcome back to another video on integration so let's do this so here we're going to integrate sine cube x with respect to x all right how do you do this well the dead easy way is to always consider that when you're dealing with powers of sine and cos is to always rewrite them in even powers in other words especially with powers of two I will show you one second. So let's just replace this with sine. Instead of cube, we can call it sine squared x times sine x. So it's still the same thing, but I'm working with odd and even. Another cool thing is to consider the last part. When you do an odd powers, the whole purpose of this is to pick the opposite trig, which is instead of sine, which is cos, differentiate and have something in terms of sine x dx to so eliminate this part and replace the du. The question is the sine squared. The truth is we need to we need a cos. So thankfully, using the useful identity that sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1, we could rearrange this to make sine squared subject. This should give us cos squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. Oops, other way around, it should give us sine squared x equals 1 minus <laughs> cos squared x. Okay, so my bad guys, second part. And hence, we just substitute sine squared x with 1 minus cos squared x. So therefore, the integral of interest now is 1 minus cos squared x sine x dx. Now the easy part begins. And yep, that's it. We just use substitution. So therefore, let u equal cos x, a nice simple one. Differentiate this one so we're going to get du over dx. Remembering the differentiate cos becomes negative sine or sine becomes positive cos, so we can get minus sine x. Easy. Now rearranging this, so therefore du ends equals or minus du, more probably some minus sine, equals sine x dx. And there we go. This part will of course replace this part here. And then sine squared, and now we can just make a, a term with u. So knowing the fact that u equals cos x so let's go here so okay, so since i chose u as cos x i can replace into the trig formula here so we're gonna have sine squared x plus u squared equals one making u squared a subject or oh wait, hold on yep making a cos squared x subject that's right so using u as cos we're gonna therefore get sine Oops, sine squared x equals 1 minus u squared. And that's it. Replacing this back into the original equation, we should therefore get, so instead of sine squared x, we're going to get 1 minus u squared times the integral times sine x becomes minus du. So it will be minus du. And that's it, folks. Literally integrate all this. So expanding this one, we should get, flipping the signs, you can get u squared minus 1 du and that's it integrating this raising the power of u the simple one will give you u3 over 3 minus integrate 1 you get u get this out of the way and you should get a plus c as well and yeah substituting u replacing u we should have cos cube x over 3 minus again u is cos cos x plus c and that's it folks, I hope this video helps, um, give me a shout for any other problem, you know I'm just here trying to be the integral guy, get every single integration video up online. So, thanks for watching and um, please leave a comment or anything if you got any particular questions or just a free discussion, you're cool. Anyway, ciao guys, see you in the next video, bye bye.